Well, welcome back to another carp fishing adventure. Today I am back at the, I don't know, I think I might call this the PETA spot. P-I-T-A. That's because there's a cliff that I have to climb up and down here. And uh, because of this cliff that I have to climb up and down, uh, this spot is a pain in the ass. <laughs> But, the um, fishing has been good. I've only fished here once and it treated me pretty well. I caught quite a few good sized fish and one monster last time I was here. That was about a week ago. So uh, I thought it was worth it to, to come back and uh, give it a try. The bait today is spicy sriracha tiger nuts. Uh, looks like I've got some dried up tiger nuts on there from last time. <laughs> they are all shriveled. Yeah, dry it up. Put some fresh ones on there. It's amazing how much they shrink, huh? Yeah, yeah. The flies here are already driving me nuts. You, know, you may wonder why, why do I wear long sleeves and long pants all summer long, even when it's hot out? It's because of the bugs. I can't stand it to have bugs just constantly landing on my arms and legs. So if I got pants and, sh and long sleeves on, you know, I at least can't feel the flies landing on my legs. So it doesn't bother me. Because if I feel those flies landing on there, I'm just going to be jumping around and just dancing around, swatting flies off myself the whole time. And it's just annoying. At this Airbnb we rented this past summer, the people that own this, the land had uh, some cattle. And those cattle were just getting just pummeled by the flies. They were covered in flies. I felt so bad for them. This pack bait that I'm using is left over from the previous fishing trip. I'm pretty sure it's peaches. It's peachy oats. Yep, peachy oats in sweet feed. See, look at those stupid flies on my bait right there. Get off of there. Yeah, I gotta climb down here every time I want to get down to the water. I think the water is a little bit lower than it was last time I was here. But it's a little bit colder too. I bet it's down into the upper 50s. Might measure that. Off to my right here, I've got uh, trees overhanging, dipping down into the water a little bit. Same deal on my left. Trees dipping down into the water, so I'm not gonna not gonna be casting the baits too far off to the left or the right. Although last time I fished here, the fish did run both ways, so that'll be a that'll be a challenge. I mean, if you're fishing in like a city park where things are like mowed and uh, you know there's not a lot of tall weeds and grasses around and sit, stuff like that, the uh, Bugs probably aren't that bad, but I don't know, a lot of places I fish, we've got lots of thick woods and weeds and uh, the flies are uh, heavy in number. Not very deep, two or three feet maybe. Eventually, once the real cold fall weather sets in, the uh, I think the fish just tend to, to migrate out to the deepest spots in the lake and they'll just spend the rest of the winter there. Don't come into these shallow bays. Ah! Very much. At least that's been my experience anyway. The fishing stops once the... They're fishing from shore, at least in the shallow areas, usually stops. Uh, probably toward the end of October. This is still the first week of October, so hopefully got at least maybe two or three good good weeks left of, of fall fishing. But uh, it's, it's 10 minutes to 3, and the uh, sun goes down at 7.30, so uh, I'm probably going to call it quits by 8. But yeah, I've got a good uh, about four hours, four and a half, I guess, maybe five of fishing. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Yep, still on there. Hasn't been very long, really. 
half an hour maybe since I put these baits in. Feels like some pretty good weight here. Pretty good weight indeed. Ooh, I just saw a pretty good sized tail come out of the water down there. Let's go down. Yeah. He's gonna try and go underneath that overhanging tree. Loosen up the drag a little bit, he's right here. He swam right into me. Oh yeah, it's a decent fish. Tail slap. Right into the net. He swam right into the net. Nice. Yeah, it's a good warm up fish. Yeah, good warm-up fish. A little four-pound fish, probably. He's got an interesting uh, scale pattern back here on this side. Flip him over. Yeah, I don't know. He might be cousins with a mirror carp. He's got some uh, funky-looking scales there by his dor dorsal. But yeah, cool fish. First fish. Start the session. Back he goes. See ya. All right, let's just turn it around to get that other one baited up. We're hooked up again. I'm feeling good about this spot today. Oh yeah. He just swam right in the net again. <laughs> He just swam right into the net. I just lifted it up, he swam right in. Well, I can see my hook here. This fish is no longer hooked. I'm just gonna put him back in the water and let him swim out of the net since he's not, hey, 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 he's not hooked, so. Go ahead, see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, third line's going off. Just trying to put on some bug spray because I'm getting eaten alive by those little ash bugs. I think that's what they're called. The little triangular bugs, they're super, super tiny, they're triangular shaped, and they bite and they bite hard. They don't leave like a, a spot on you when they bite like a mosquito, but it's just it hurts. <laughs> they bite me right through the back of my shirt. <laughs> okay, this is a I really have no baits in the water now. Three fish in a row here. I haven't had time to to rebait anything. Starting off with some small fish today. Sounds good. As soon as he calms down, I'll reach down and grab that hook and we'll be done. Okay, you're done. Sayonara. Oops. Yep, there you go. Enjoy, your, enjoy yourself, you just got my feet wet, thank you. All right. No baits in the water. Good problem, right? Good problem. I know I keep complaining about the bugs, but it's bad. They're biting me a lot. I'm 75 degrees out, but I'm putting on a sweatshirt. I'm gonna be sweating. Or at least I won't be getting bit through my through the back of my shirt anymore. Jeez. So itchy. Alright, I got all three lines out and uh, sweatshirt on so I'm not getting bit anymore. So okay. Now time to make some more baits. I know I'm gonna need that pretty soon. As usual, sweet feed and oats. And I'll just grab the first thing that I can find. Here we go, fruit cocktail. Dump that in there. Put the lid back in there. Close this up. Smash up that fruit. That's it. 
just simple three ingredients oats sweet feed can of fruit cocktail there's a grape Got an aggressive runner here. Just sat down, <laughs> which is fine, I guess. You know, I do like to relax and just wait for the bite sometimes. <laughs> I haven't really had a chance to do that today. This was my line that was off to the left, and this fish is going that way. Just gonna cross over my middle line right now. I haven't really caught a glimpse of them yet. Sometimes these big ones will... I guess he ain't a giant. All right, come on in. Okay, gotcha. I'm just gonna get him unhooked right here if I can. Didn't bring the pliers with me. Yeah, got it. <coughs> ah, you got me right in the face. All right, you got me. Even Steven. You got some action here. Yep. What is this, four? I think it's fish number four. It's been a, been a little bit, probably about 20 minutes. Kind of been a nice break, actually. Oh, this is a pretty good fish. Wow, this is a pretty good fish. It was behaving like a little fish. It was behaving like a little fish. Just letting me bring it in. Wow. Oh, it's not a little fish at all. I had brought my pliers down here. I was just gonna unhook him right here <laughs> next to the shore. No way, this was mat worthy. This one's mat worthy. He's coming up to the mat. Come on. Got him. Got him. He's very mat worthy. <clears throat> Burr, the fish splattered me. <laughs> I'm all wet. The water's cold. I just heard drag. Yeah, my other rod's got something going on with it. I'll just leave that alone for now. This is a good fish. I bet this is a 12 pound fish. Oh yeah, he's almost 15 in the net. Yeah, this is a beast of a fish. It's about 14, 13, 14 pound fish. Just behaved like a dink. Just let me just reel him in until he got to the bank. Yeah, or it's close to the bank and I saw that it was a big fish. He still didn't fight that hard, but yeah, this is a great fish. I thought it was gonna be dink fest. Nice, nice, nice. I got something going on in the other line, so I guess I'll get this fish back in the water and see what's up with that. Yeah, I'll get my feet wet for this fish. Brr, that is cold. Actually, it feels kind of good, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, you're anxious. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah, I guess the colder the water gets, the less energy the fish are gonna have. This line's slack. Nothing. Okay, this is an aggressive run. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to make any predictions on this fish. I was totally wrong last fish. I thought it was a dink and it was a big fish. I just don't have much fight in this cold water, I think. Come on in. Got him. I think the days of the screaming runs and just powerful uh, fish is, uh, are over. For the season, it's cold water. They don't have, they don't have as much gusto as they, they do during the summer months. 
Yeah, another really nice fish. Look how long this fish is. His head doesn't really match his body. He's got a giant head, skinny little body. Got a hump, hunchback thing going on here. I'd put this at about 11 or 12 pounds probably. I'm not gonna weigh him. Let's see what's going on on that other rod. Get this fish back in the water. All right, big fella. Get you turned around. See you later. Yeah, it's turning out to be a pretty good session. A couple of big fish so far. Very nice. Here we go again. That feels pretty good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I think this is a good fish. It's been pretty quiet for probably about half an hour or so. Some pretty good weight and some pretty good sized boils happening over there. Okay, he's a lot smaller than I thought. Seems like a five pound fish and a 15 pounder fight about the same in this cold water. Yeah, okay. Size of the fish is moving in the wrong direction here, but uh, yeah, keep me on my toes. Four pound fish, probably. See ya. <laughs> there we go. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. This one's heading to the left. That's gonna be trouble. This is gonna be trouble. He's over here. Going back over here. That was a good run. That was a power burst right there. That should be his last one, maybe. <laughs> that was some power. I get it. You got some power. You showed me. Got him. Yeah, that's a pretty decent fish. Stocky, tall fish. Not very long. I'd give this seven, seven, seven and a half pounds, maybe. How stocky this fish is I mean yeah cool I don't think they're doing a second spawn in this uh, lake this year I haven't seen any spawning behavior so I don't know if there's eggs in there or not back you go we'll get bigger see ya Well, the sun is getting low in the sky, and the air temp is falling, and I haven't had a bite in over an hour, so I'm going to call it. It was a pretty good session, I think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.